So folks, I, I am a survivor of mental ill health. I have no problem at all sharing that. I think it's really important to share your story, folks. And oh, Theo, that's a nice cameo coming along there. Nice ass. <laughs> I just have a seven out of ten. Not as nice as Phil, but you're getting there. Wow. Anyway, so I wrote a book called The Power of Knowing You, and it's based on my own experiences of growing up in the, the west of Ireland and obviously being a survivor of abuse. And basically, this poem just sums up what I've come across, and I hope you enjoy it, folks. And this poem is called, How Are We To Know? Because I tell you something, folks, when we hang on to blame and resentment and anger, the person we are hurting the most is you. There you go, the drummer agrees. <laughs> right, and it goes like this, folks, and it goes, when we are born, we are born pure to the mercy of our world. And depending on how we are conditioned, it can be beautiful or be blurred. Regardless of how our parents grow up, we put them on a pedestal. We hang on to their every word, believing that they mean well. But what if they were suppressed by judgments, expectations and, pe and fear? Then pass these on unbeknownst to them and we become bitter throughout the years. And because we all need to be loved, we may not feel right to challenge them. Then we choose to have children and the cycle starts all over again. But there is light for we can change and we don't have to keep doing the same. We can build our awareness, take responsibility for ourselves and let go of this limiting pain. Our lives are how we want them to be. We don't have to just go with the flow. We have got choices of which path to take and we have got a right to say no. We all deserve self-respect, to be valued in what we do, to not be judged, allowed to grow, and this starts with how you feel about you. So be who you want to be, don't let fear hold you back. Allow your inner light to shine through and it will guide you through the black. Surround yourself with people who unconditionally love you. In fact, just come to feckin' glass and breathe. <laughs> uh, so, surround yourself with people who unconditionally love you. Environments that help you to grow. And if self-blame ever creeps in, just think, how were we to know? Thank you.